Hey guys, today we have the Shaba uh, VS25 Bluetooth speaker. It's an ultra slim wireless speaker. Uh, great quality, really nice build. It does a couple of different things. It does wireless uh, Bluetooth speaker phone. It'll read a micro SD card, has auxiliary in, an FM radio, a voice recorder, card reader, cell phone stand built into the back, and it has lighting effects around the small speaker here. Uh, this is the packaging it comes in. Here's some uh, specifications on the back of the box here. For the speaker itself, this is a great little unit. Uh, very compact, really no bigger than a cell phone inside of a case. This is a Note 4 inside of a case, and you can see here, they're really <laughs> quite similar. So carrying this in your pocket, purse, or bag, or anything like that should be easy. Uh, I carry it around in my back pocket. I've done so for a week now. Uh, great quality. The one thing I will say, watch out for this. This is a speaker here. This is also where the lighting effects ring is. Uh, you can see how that moves. There's no cover to that. So if you throw it in your bag and you have a loose pen or pencil or anything like that, you could end up poking right through that speaker. Uh, so just be careful on that. That's definitely not a deal breaker for me. Uh, I love the design of this thing, how small it is and compact, uh, portable. Uh, on the top here, you have your volume up and down, uh, skip tracks forward and backwards, power button, answer and end calls. This is also the uh, button you press if you want to do the voice recorder. Uh, bottom has little feet here so that when you have it on the stand, it doesn't want to move on the tables. On the side, you have a headphone jack, trans flash, uh, micro SD card. If you put that in, you can put all your own music on there and play it right through the speaker if you don't want to use Bluetooth. Uh, you'll get better battery life out of it if you actually use the card reader and don't connect Bluetooth. That's with every Bluetooth speaker out there. Uh, DC in for charging, and then auxiliary port. So you can play directly from a piece of equipment that doesn't have Bluetooth directly onto the speaker. Uh, as for the lighting effects, there's a ring that runs around the inside of this right in here. I don't know if you can see that down in there. Uh, you can change the lighting effects with the buttons and stuff on the back. Back here is your mode button, uh, your lighting button. To turn it on, you just hold the button on the top. Paired. Now it makes that noise and stuff every single time you turn this thing on. It only makes the beeping sound when you turn it off. That. I wish it did that to turn it on. Because I really don't dig the whole... Paired. Every single time I turn it on. It's kind of annoying. But, again, it's not a deal breaker. It's just if you're in a quieter uh, environment and you want to kick on the speaker, it's kind of easy to cover the speaker with those beeps. But when this thing starts its whole boot up process, uh, it's kind of loud. So keep that in mind. Uh, as far as I could tell inside of the manual, there was no way to shut it off. Uh, the lighting effects that go around the ring, let me turn it off and turn it back on. And you can see there. Paired. You can make them glow. If I, I'm going to go ahead and hit the light button on the back right here. And you can see this is one of the lighting effects. It just glows. It's just an outer ring. The glows around the speaker, changes colors, flashes every once in a while. Uh, or you could turn it off completely, and it'll just uh, flash. Uh, really nice unit. The microphone for the voice recorder is here in the front. Uh, quality on it is amazing. It sounds great. I'm going to hit the mode button back here. TS card. So this is just some generic music off the internet. Uh, this is playing directly from the micro SD card built into it, or that I added to it. Skip. I'm going to go forward. Then your volume up and down is the same button. If I hold it down, it turns the volume way down. And it'll beep a couple of times once you meet, reach, or reach the uh, max limit. That beep there. Really nice unit. Uh, the stand on the back is really cool because you can just pop it out and set it down and you have a speaker you know, stand that you can face it directly at you. Uh, if you want to combine your cell phone with it, you just flip down that little door 
and you can actually rest your cell phone right on the speaker. So it's nice if you don't want to take up a ton of space with a Bluetooth speaker and a cell phone, you can have them both together, make it a little bit cleaner. Uh, like I said, I'll put the link in the description. Very nice little unit, very portable. Battery life, I've been running this for almost five hours straight off the initial charge. So when I first got it, it was pre-charged for shipping. Uh, I had to let it charge for probably 40 minutes and then it was ready to go. And I've been playing this for about five hours straight. Uh, and I'm still going. So, depending on what you're using, that will depend on your battery life. So if you're using the micro SD, you're gonna get better battery life than if you're using the Bluetooth. Uh, Bluetooth sucks the energy right out of these portable speakers. So I rarely, I'll fill up a SD card, pop it in there, and I'll have 200, 300 songs on there that I'll just go through for the day. Uh, I do use it with my phone when I want to listen to Pandora, anything like that, then I'll use my phone as the main unit, speaker plays off of this. Uh, great unit, like I said, instruction manual, manual that comes with it is pretty detailed about the basic functions of it, but like I said, that noise that comes on when you first turn on the speaker, it, it is not listed in here whether or not you can turn that off, so I'm not sure about that. Uh, but this tells you how to go through all the different functions of it. If you're going to be using the voice recorder, uh, playing music off the SD card, using the Bluetooth, answering and ending calls, all that stuff is inside of your little manual here. Uh, which I have to say, this manual is some of the one of the better manuals that I've came across inside of these Bluetooth speakers. I have probably 10, 15 of these things laying around, different rooms of the house, different locations, and most of them are just one, you know, one-sided. And they tell you play, stop, fast, you know, jump to the next track, basic functions. This is actually a decent little manual for the Bluetooth speaker. And like I said, in comparison to what you would normally get. Uh, it also comes with the charger cord here. Standard micro uh, charger cord. If you have an Android phone, you can use the exact same plug for it. Uh, also, when I charge this, I'm using a 2.1 amp uh, charger uh, plug for it. So you're going to get different charging times depending on what type of uh, little block you have plugged into the wall. Uh, if it's a one amp block, it's going to take twice as long to charge the uh, battery. So keep that in mind when you think about how long I said it took it to charge. I'm using a 2.1 amp charger with a rapid charging cable. Uh, not that the, char or the cable really has much to do with it, it's really the block itself. Uh, you also get a 3.5 millimeter uh, auxiliary cord. So you can plug anything that's not Bluetooth enabled, you can plug directly into the back of the speaker and play it directly from that unit, whether it be an MP3 player or whatever it is. So check it out, I'll put the link in the description, I think you'll like it. Hopefully this review helps you out a little bit uh, if you're deciding to buy a Bluetooth speaker. Price point wise and quality, you really can't beat this. I'll put the link in the description, you guys have a good day.